Hello and welcome back to George's Gaming Guys. Today I'm going to be doing the intro and review of the LEGO Avengers Advent Calendar for 2023. The set number is 76267 made out of 243 pieces. The set does include seven minifigures, they even are unique. They are Spider-Man, like a Christmas Spider-Man, a Christmas Black Widow and a Doctor Strange. Now the other four minifigures in this set are Wong, Okoye, Iron Man and Captain America. Um, and overall I think that this is an okay uh, calendar. I think LEGO could have done a lot better though, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's have a look what we got over the 24 days. So for day one we have the Iron Man, which in my opinion is actually the best part of this calendar. So he has obviously got the blue where his thrusters are, the arc reactor, and then lots of uh, printing for all of the metal on his front and then his helmet and then printing on his back as well. Then we have the festive Quinjet which in my opinion is probably one of the worst parts of this. Just looks absolutely ridiculous um, and it isn't that recognisable. Uh, we had to look it up to figure out what it was because we were torn between Thanos' ship, um, a Quinjet, and I just think that Lego were a bit lazy on this one and could have done a lot better. Then we have what is actually called the Ugly Sweater Spider-Man. So you've got red and white sweater with Spider-Man faces on it, his mask, and then Spider-Man on his back with his blue trousers. Then the next day was very disappointing, because for a building in the bag at least, because it was just uh, Spider-Man like, web pieces. Then we have something which I think is quite fun actually, which is the Iron Man Snowman. It's got a top hat on, it's got the arc reactor, got no blue where the thrusters are or on the bottom of it, but that's, uh, I, that's okay. I would have preferred it with it, but um, it's okay without it, but I do think that this is uh, quite a nice little model. Now we have a gift wrapping station, so there's some materials, some scissors, and then obviously just on a desk. Then we have Black Widow in like a festive jumper with a couple of snowmans on it with obviously like the uh, the blue, almost like laser things that she has with the, the ginger hair and the black trousers. Then we have the Iron Man reindeer which I think really works to be honest. I think that I think it looks very very nice that Lego has done quite a nice job with quite an odd concept. Then we have my second favourite model, which is the Captain America, so he's got the ginger hair, the uh, Captain America suit with the star in the middle, the classic shield, and then on the back, he's just got the back of his armour. Now we have the uh, the jetpack, which is a little bit random, um, and I think it's a bit strange how Lego's included it, but nevertheless, it does look uh, quite nice. Now we have the fireplace and um, Mjolnir, I believe is how you pronounce it. So it's literally just like an open flame with Thor's hammer on top of it. Then we have the workbench. So the workbench is actually quite a nice model, so it's just, it's very simple. And I think that really works, because I think for a lot of the, uh, the Avengers... Oh, sorry, the Marvel calendar, sorry, I cannot get this, so I'm just going to do it like that. Um, for a lot of the Avengers calendar, Lego's really overthought it, but I think that this works really well with being this simple, and I think it looks quite nice. Then we have Okoye, I believe is how you pronounce her name, so she's got her spear, the uh, the no hair, and then like the red armour with like the brown printing on it. Now we have the ice hockey accessories and gifts. Now again for building the bag, this is awful because there's that little like present there for I'm presuming Iron Man because doing the red and gold colour but then the rest of it is just loose pieces. This one's quite annoying. And now we have the arc reactor. Now this is probably one of my favourite parts of this. I think it looks very nice. I would have liked it to be a bit bigger but obviously considering it's a calendar, Lego can't make these models very large. Now we have Loki's throne, 
So I think, again, this is the one from the series Loki, and I think that it's uh, simple, but it really works. And this is one of my favourite models in this. The next one was a real, like, uh, punch in the teeth for uh, building the bag, because there is no bag that comes with um, the uh, Doctor Strange Cloak of Levitation, and it is uh, very annoying, but uh, it's rubber, it's a very nice cape, so... Uh, the, the actual model itself is very nice, but it's very annoying. It didn't come in a bag. Now we have Doctor Strange himself in like the uh, the blue uh, cloaks that he wears with the uh, obviously like green magic he has from the Time Stone. Then we have something that's literally called Doctor Strange's Apple. So it's a little desk with a red apple on it. Not quite sure how this links in. Then we have the Hydra train, so obviously this is supposed to be Captain America on the top and then you can just see the two parts of the train, very simple but quite nice. Now we have uh, the table and drumsticks, it's a table with a couple of drinks on and a drumstick, so this set is literally six pieces but I think that this is, it's okay, it's not the best but it's definitely not the worst out of uh, what we've been through so far. Now we have Wong, so he's got the um, one of the stones, um, and he's in his like um, robes. So he's the red and blue, red and dark blue robes with a reasonable amount of printing, and it does look quite uh, quite nice. Now we have the Captain America tree skirt. Where this is very simple, but this is very annoying for building the bag because, of course, the tree which is the 24th day, is actually supposed to go on it. So that is uh, quite annoying, but I think that the two models themselves are okay. They're not the best they could be. They're certainly not the worst they could be. Now, overall, I think that this is an okay calendar, but I think that LEGO could have made a lot of improvements. And yeah, so without further ado, let's have a look at my final opinion of the set. Overall, this is an okay uh, set, but if LEGO, to be perfectly honest, if LEGO doesn't up their game for the uh, the Marvel side of things, I would recommend not buying a Marvel calendar if there is one next year. And yeah, so you thank you again. I'll see you next time. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts about it. And also make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be Dad's build and review of the T-Rex fossil.